What's going on family? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I want to go over seven things I wish I knew before I started working out. In the backtrack a little bit, I've been working out for over 10 years now. I achieved a men's physique natural pro physique card and I have gained over 60 pounds of lean muscle mass. And if I were able to rewind, talk to myself in the future, these are the tips that I would tell myself so I could accelerate my progress and be a little bit bigger and leaner and stronger than I am now. So before we get into today's video, please subscribe because it helps me out a lot. You know, just give me a chance, hit that subscribe button. If you don't like me, just unsubscribe later and let's get into today's video. So the first thing I wanna go over is do not let genetics limit you. And the reason why I say this is because when I first started working out, I was 126 pounds and I'm 5'11 and I'm also Asian. So growing up in high school, everyone knew me as the skinny Asian kid. Now, fast forwarding a little bit, I feel like I was able to break some stereotypes and not allow genetics hold me back. You don't know what you can achieve until you actually get into lifting. Because someone starts out a little bit bigger than you doesn't mean they'll end up bigger than you. So if you're looking to lose weight or gain muscle mass, do not let genetics hold you back because if I were asked myself before if I was able to achieve what I did thus far, I definitely wouldn't believe I could. The next thing I wish I had done when I first started working out was following a structured workout program, but also progressive overloading. So I used to go into the gym every day and just do the same routine every single time. I wouldn't track anything, I would kind of wing it. I would just be like, yo, today I'm hitting chest, I'm gonna go on bench press, and then I'm gonna hit something random. You know, there's gonna be no structure involved and I'm not taking a calculator approach and really taking advantage of my time. Back then, you know, I wasn't very confident in the gym, I was insecure, you know, I'd be stressed out in there. I'd be looking at all the bigger guys, thinking they're judging me. I just wanted results really fast. Now, if you want results, results very, very, very fast. What I recommend is following a structured workout program. What you do in the gym is gonna reflect on your results and especially progressive overloading. If you go on the bench and just throw on a plate every single time, you're not gonna get better. Next time, throw on the 2.5s or try and bang out a couple more reps. Take a second, grab a journal or write in your notepad on your phone, your training program and try and beat your numbers every single week. The next thing I wish I've done was actually track my nutrition protocol. I remember talking to my friend, Alan. He was the captain of the football team. He was like the big guy in my high school. And I asked him, I was like, hey man, like how do you get bigger? I knew he worked out and I wanted to get some advice. And he told me, hey bro, just eat a lot. So me being 120 pounds, me eating a lot was literally just one egg and a piece of toast because I literally didn't eat many meals throughout the day. Now that wasn't enough to make progress. Now if I was able to actually track my food throughout the entire week and I tracked my body weight throughout the entire week, I could see, is this nutrition protocol giving me results? If so, let's keep it going. If not, I need to make a change. And that's where tracking will really accelerate your results. Now you usually can see those guys in the gym who work out really hard, you know, that might be pretty big. But if you see that guy who's super aesthetic, they're big, they're lean, they have great shape, it means they're tracking their diet and they're tracking their training, especially if they're making consistent results month to month. So the fourth thing on today's list is preventing a plateau or knowing what a plateau actually was. Like I said, I used to go into the gym every day and I used to just hit you know, chess and hit some random things. And I didn't know if I was plateauing or I was stalling or if I wasn't making any progress because number one, I didn't track anything. Number two, I was so mixed up in there and I wasn't able to remember everything that I've done. So there was no way to measure if I was making progress. Now, with this said, I also just did the same thing, same bench or incline press or reps of five or 10. I didn't really change things up. So to prevent a plateau, you need to make sure you're changing your workout program every four to six weeks. Now, for someone like me who's very serious, I actually change my workout every four weeks. And during each week of my workout program, I focus on progressive overloading and getting better because those numbers on paper will determine if I'm actually making results or not. So 
Don't be afraid to try new things out. Try new exercises. If you're a little bit intimidated, you know, take things slow. Leave your ego at the door, drop the weight, focus on form. Don't worry if you need to ask for help. Try some new exercises, try some new things because if something that you're doing right now isn't working, you're only holding yourself back by doing the same thing and expecting a different result. So moving on to number five, this is something that I still struggle with and uh, it's ego lifting. So when I'm into the gym, I am honestly a competitive guy. You know, I love pushing myself to the max. I've always played competitive sports. You know, I wanna lift heavy and I wanna lift more. So something that I need to do and what I wish I did a lot more when I first started out was leaving my ego at the door. If my program says three sets of 15 reps and I need to drop the weight back to get that 15 reps, then that's something you should do. You're only holding yourself back if you're ego lifting and you're only trying to lift as much as you can at a show because you're not taking a calculated approach. You're literally there testing out your strength. You're not there training. You're not there with intention to get better. There's a reason why your program is set up a certain way. Make sure you stick to it. Hit that rep range. Make sure you're hitting that RPE and you're not overdoing it out of ego. So leave your ego at the door. And I'm talking to myself when I say this, when I watch this back, leave your ego at the door, Patty Lifts. So number six is don't compare yourself to others. So being that skinny Asian kid in high school, you know, I would see my other friends. I didn't really have many other Asian friends because, you know, it wasn't very cultured place, I guess, but I would see these dudes that are a lot bigger than me and they didn't look like me. So I didn't really have that hero or role model to look up to. And I used to compare myself to others and be like, look at this guy, he's so big, but he doesn't look like me. I could never get that. I just have these skinny Asian boy genetics. Me comparing myself to others was a limiting belief that held me back. So everyone's in this journey and we're all here to uplift ourselves, to better ourselves. And that's something that we all have in common in the fitness scene, you know, and we're all going to take different paths. So your starting point might be a different starting point with someone else's. So don't compare your starting point to someone else's like mine, where I'm currently over 10 years into my journey. Me comparing myself to others used to actually, you know, make me a little bit sad, making me feel like there was no hope. But you know what? You might as well take advantage of your personal situation. Make the best out of it because that's the only thing that you can control. So optimize your lifestyle for whatever it is. If you can only go to the gym three to four days because you literally have to work and go to school every single other hour throughout the week, then you know what? Make, make the best out of that situation. So don't compare yourself to others. Focus on optimizing your lifestyle, your routine, and you'll get the best results that you personally can achieve. And drum roll, the last thing I wish I told myself was to make sure to enjoy the process. And naturally, I'm the type of dude to stress out about things. And I used to just go in there and try and focus on doing the most optimized, detailed workout plan that had nothing to do with anything. I just needed to focus on the fundamentals, you know? Just do what I like, you know? If enjoying your program means you'll get into the gym five, six days a week, versus doing something you hate and you just dread going there, do the thing that you like because consistency is gonna trump a half-assed optimized plan. So whatever you're doing, make sure you enjoy the process. Obviously, you're gonna like it a lot more and it's gonna keep you going every single day and keep you more consistent. Um, if you enjoy something, you're gonna just naturally do better at it anyways. I wish I didn't stress out about all the little things that didn't really matter in the first place. So with all that being said, those are all of my mistakes. That's all of the things that I wish I told myself. Well, I guess the seven top things. And for anyone that's new, I hope you guys take this to heart because I genuinely really mean these things and I wish I was able to tell myself back in the day these things because, you know, in 10 years I would be <laughs> a lot ahead than where I would be right now. But if you guys like this type of video, please let me know in the comment section below. Please subscribe if you're not part of the team because I would really appreciate it. And if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe later because I promise you I'm going to bring you guys some quality content and help you guys out. Okay. Other than that, thank you if you did stick around and make sure to use my ghost commission code for 20% off because I'm trying to make this money during holiday season. And I'll see you guys in the next video.